This week in our Second Cup Cafe, Joey and Rory, a duo who make beautiful music together. If their love songs sound real, guess what? <laughs> they are. It's no act. They've been married for eight years. And their big break came as finalists on the season one of the reality show, Can You Duet? Then came a successful first album and a top new vocal duo award from the Academy of Country Music. And next week, they release their sophomore CD, aptly titled album number two. Where did they come <laughs> up with that title? If you're wondering, Genius. like I was, who's who? Rory is the one with the sideburns. Here's Joey and Rory with the national television <laughs> premiere of their first single off their new CD, This Song's For You. If you got up this morning and you went to work Today this song's for you And if you put eight honest hours in For eight hours worth of pay This song's for you If it's taking all you got these days Just to make you move You'd like to give a piece of your mind To those flat cats on Wall Street This song's for you If you go to church on Sunday and you try to do what's right, this song's for you. But you've been known to drink a beer and raise hell on a Friday night, this song's for you. If you wish we didn't have to go and send our boys to war, but you still think this country of ours is sure worth dying for. This song's for you. You know who you are. We're up on this stage, but you're the star. You're why we do what we do. We want you to know this song's for you. As real as it comes, this song's for you. And if you came here today, hoping you might hear your song, this song's for you. And if you hear this on our record or on the radio, or if you're at home this morning watching the early show, this song's for you. We don't like it, we love it. Yes, we do. <laughs> Especially, you know, we always love a song when you say something nice about the early show, that a yeah. song's for us. Come on this way, guys. We're always welcome here. back here. <laughs> Any chance you can get you to work Chris and Rebecca into that song? Yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Let's turn this way so the folks at home can, can see a little more of you. Go ahead. You know, you're, you're a married couple. You work together, you live together, you spend your lives together. How does that play out? It works out really well, don't you think? It's the only way. It Come on, works be for honest. Us. We are on yeah. live television. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. We've um, we've been best friends all along, and and most artists have to leave their spouses at home, and so I think we're probably the luckiest artists out there to get to share in every moment. Like uh, it doesn't get any more fun than this, and I'd hate to have to call home and tell her about it, or more than likely she'd be calling home telling me about it. And, you know, and, and you've also been writing about September 11th to commemorate September 11th. What what was your inspiration there? Why? Uh, why make a song for September 11th in memoriam? 
Well, you know, songs uh, for us, they, they just show up sometimes. And I think this song happened um, really in about uh, 2006, and that was such a, a huge um, heartbreaking thing that happened. And for some reason, that song sort of wrote itself. And um, it's, always, it's always felt and meant a lot to us. And just to be here and share in this moment, um, you know, and nine years later, it's it's really special for us. So. Were you guys at all surprised now to kind of change topics here real quick? To go from a reality show to all of a sudden to have the success that you've had to be nominated for awards, and I mean, it, it's probably still a little surreal, is it not? It's very surreal still. I think it will always be, no matter how long you do this or how many years we get to do this. Every time we step on the stage or every time we um, might be nominated for an award, it's really an amazing thing. And, we look at two years ago, we were just at home and I was waiting tables and he was writing songs and you know, it's just... We live on a little farm uh, yeah. south of Nashville and so it's it's kind of surreal for us to be here in the middle of New York City. So you were actually just waiting tables and you were sitting on a farm, you didn't actually steal that from another country song? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it's true. <laughs> That's totally true. I, I have a little restaurant back home with Rory's sister, Marcy, called Marcy Joe's Meal House. And yes. it's a great little community and um, I was baking breads in the morning and waiting on customers. Right. It is a, a great, great story. story. It really is. And we're so glad you guys are with us.